Peace, everybody. This is your brother Raheem coming at you again with another episode. Your investigator, reporter. This brother here, Abba, talks about the feds online. And they're coming up out of Egypt. The tar bush. Okay. We're going to deal with this subject and see if this brother knows what he's talking about. Let's listen to what he says. What's the difference between the black feds and the red feds? Well, is it a difference of status or what? The black feds was the original color, and it, it wasn't a feds, it was a tar bush. And this was, was worn in ancient Egypt. Did you hear what he said? Let's listen again. What's the difference between the black feds and the red feds? Well, is it a difference of status or what? The black fez was the original color, and it, it wasn't a fez, it was a tar bush. And this was, was worn in ancient Egypt. Now, you heard for yourself. You said it was in ancient Egypt, and it was worn in ancient, ancient Egypt, which is Kemet. Let's see what Seti has to say about this. Now again, this is Mantu Hotel. You know, you hear the, the more talking about this is a fez. No damn fair. You can see how it comes down over his ear. It's also a portion that's connected to the top and it's not oval. If you're looking at it, it's not oval. Now, if they stole a lot of Kemet and used this as the basis to construct the fairs, that's one thing. Because the crack has been doing a whole lot of stuff. Now, is there some consistency there? One person said there's no fast, and the other one said there is a fast. Hmm. According to this picture, I would have to go with what said he said. It's not a fast. doesn't represent a fast. And it's red. And that's the original color. Now, according to Seti, there is no fast in Egypt. So what is Abba really talking about? I mean, really. There is no pictures of that tarbouche in Kemet. And I have a plethora of pictures and information. That's why I'm putting this up. That is a crown. Definitely not a tarbouche. There's another crown. Definitely not a tarbouche. Nefertiti. Since we're going to deal on the woman's side, no, no tarbouche. King Tut, no tarbouche. The death mask clearly is not a fast. So what is he talking about with this hat that he has on his head. There isn't a picture in Kemet on a relief, on a tomb, on a stone or a stele that shows this. The tassel that you see represents the Horus lot. It was originally braided. Did you hear what he just said? Wow. It was a Horus lock. The young children would wear that. They didn't have on fezzes. Or a tar bush. There's not a picture, as I said, in Kemet that that man can show was a black hat like he has on his head. So, I did my research. That's the lock, the braid. Okay? Not a tar bush. You can clearly see the braid. Yeah, he doesn't have on anything tall on his head. Again, this is Kong Shu. The lock is coming out the side of his head. Now, do you see a tar bush there? No. Clearly, you see the braid. What's it called? No tar bush. What is he talking about? Hmm. 
read this, folks. And you can go online and check out what is written here. Ask anybody that has studied Egypt would know about that lock. It's not a tar bush. So, this is not a representation of Horace Locke. I don't know where he get that teaching from. Maybe he got it from Dr. York. But that is not a representation. You don't even have to have that to represent the lock. You can shave off your hair and... Put the real thing there. Since he got a lot of hair and he got locks, shave all his hair off, leave a little bit on the side and put it in a lock. Since he's so deep into Egypt or Kemet, right? Let's see what else he says. Mm -hmm. Sultan Mahmoud Khan II. I'm, I'm not good with the years and the dates. So forgive me, but Sultan Mahmoud Khan II went into Egypt to study, and he brought the tar bush up out of Egypt. They called it that, and in, in I believe it's the Farsi language, the Persian, mm -hmm. is that Farsi? Yeah, in the Farsi, Farsi language, Farsi, yeah. they called it the tar bush. Now, in the, in the Phoenician peoples, which are your Arabs today, your Bedouins, establishing their own. Wait. Mahmoud brought the, that black tar bush up out of Egypt. Wow. Where is that fez in Egypt? I would like to see it. He has to have some pictures of it. Phoenicians are Arabs or Arabs. Hmm. Phoenicians are Canaanites. Yeah, not Arabs. Again, he has put something historically out there that is subsequently wrong. Anybody can go and study the Phoenicians and know they're not Arabs. I don't understand. I don't understand his uh, his his mental capacity with that. Brand, they cut the tar bush down the side, so that what you see that my brothers in the Morris Science Temple are wearing is not a fez. It's a tar bush. The fez is the little short one that you see with the short tassel. The dye that they use come from redwood berries. This was done to distinguish themselves from those peoples that were learning in ancient Egypt. The word Fez comes from the Arabic word Fas, which means axe. Why? Because they cut the original down the sides. Please, people, don't believe me. Please, people. That's the best thing he said. Do not believe this guy. Just because the word Faz means axe doesn't mean it cut down some type of hat. It's just like axe in English. Do we cut down hats? No. This cannot represent a lock in ancient Egypt. That hat cannot represent that. It was what it was. He's trying to make up something totally new. And get people to follow that? Wow. So, I have to ask. Where are all the other Kemet tins with this black tar bush that he's wearing? Hmm. People, this guy... Before you believe anything he says, 
check it out thoroughly and exhaust all investigations. Peace.